Hello and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catsbit Productions. Today I just wanted to show you uh, some basic artwork creation and reinforce the method of working in layers. And this really will only work when you're doing very simple spot colors where the cover colors do not overlap and you do not have any uh, gradients or halftone type stuff. So this is for your when you're first starting out and you're creating very basic artwork okay and you could be using clip art in the middle or anything like that is possible today I'm just gonna work with shapes and fonts to show a basic idea and uh, the deal is is the first layer that you create to work on should be in the back and as you layer the uh, subsequent layers will be on top now what I have here is a layer for registration so I just have my little reg marks, which is fine. I can leave those on. And to start working, creating the artwork, I'll create a new layer. And I can go ahead and go in and call it color 1. Right? Okay, so maybe I'll do my text, and I'll say something silly. Okay. Screen printers. We can copy and paste that, bring it down here, do, oops, do it in layers. Okay, so, and remember, we're not really creating art today, I'm just showing you, you know, you would want to center this and make sure everything is perfect, right? Okay, so there's like color one, and all color one is, is the font. Okay, so see how very basic uh, spot color artwork can be easy. Now at this point, we can create a new layer. Okay, we can call that color 2. Okay, and we're, make sure you're on the layer. There's color 1. Turn it on and off. And color 2 has nothing on it yet. So, I don't know, let's just if we're going to create a basic shape of sorts. Let's do this. And let's see, now we want to go like this, make that see-through. I'm just fooling around here. We'll just make like a crosshair or something. Okay, so here's, all right, here's one little circle, okay, and we're still on layer uh, two, or color two layer, whatever you want to call it, so you can see I can toggle it on and off. <coughs> okay, so now if I wanted to make a couple simple lines to make them quick for this video, we can do it something like this. You know, you guys should know how to do a lot of this stuff, but this is the idea. We're working in layers. So let's see. Is this the height? There we go. I can make that a little longer. So I'll copy that, paste it, and we're going to rotate. Okay, so here's like a little crosshair of sorts. Oops. Okay, here, maybe it's easier just to use the scale tool. And then I gotta beef it up a little. Whoops. Something like that. Oh boy, it's hard to work on this. Okay. Trying to get this straightened out for you. Okay, so really simple. Don't want to make this video too long. So there's uh, like a little crosshair, and it's not perfect, of course, and that's color two. So say we wanted to take this, copy it, and we wanted to make kind of like it's two, two colors, two registration marks. Now I can paste it on that layer. You saw I just created a new layer, and we can call it color three. Right? Alright, I hope that wasn't too confusing, because see what I did? I just keep creating new layers. Alright, now this one, 
maybe we want it kind of like as though they were getting lined up. Okay, so you see how that is? It's really simple. Like for simple colors and, and where this is okay to overprint. Like if you were going to print two colors that could overprint here like this, this would be fine. Very simple, very easy to do. You can work in layers. You can see everything. Here's your crosshairs, or your registration marks. Here's color one, color two. Oops. Color two. Or three. Okay, so you can toggle them on and off, and how you would print out the film is very easy. You leave your registration on. There's one film positive. There's the next film positive. And there's the next film positive. And that would be it. Now, if you were working in a much more layered situation, where you have uh, shapes that are going to, you know, let me just kind of overlap each other and we were working on layers and you needed to overlap and do stuff like this where maybe this is one color and this is another color but you don't want them to overprint now that's a whole different story okay and that that's a little bit different but I thought I would just show you this for very basic spot colors and for when you're starting out working in layers can be very uh, good to do it could be a good habit to get into Okay, but as you get more complex in your artwork, you will need to learn how to do different things. And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll uh, probably have to learn new ways of doing the same things because it's more complex. All right, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate your time and attention. If you like what you see, please rate, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.